guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a brand new pack offer available and it's in the form of a string pack for soul stones. We've never seen a string pack offer for soul stones before and normally string packs are typically they are better than most offers out there. Not always, but usually they are quite decent. I'm referring to like the, the void shard string pack offer. That's definitely one of the best void pack offers in the game, the string pack that is. I guess it's not always the case for the other pack offers out there, maybe for like the mixed ones, but those are usually like about average or a little bit better than average. Yeah, this one is going to be a brand new pack offer and I have the pack offer uh, pricing available right here and I do want to break it down for you. So let's get right into it. So string packs in general are only worth going for if you plan to go all the way to the bonus pack offer. If you only stop at the first or second portion, then you're not going to be able to compensate for the bonus pack offer, which is usually a lot cheaper and a lot less uh, more quantity and less pricing, right? So that's kind of how they they get you. They try to make you go for all of them instead of one of them. Yeah, it's it's typically how it goes. So soul stones are still fairly new to the game, but the soul stone pack offers they've been coming out for about three to four months now since it came into the game, and I have a good gauge on what is like the the middle ground as far as like the average, the market value, and then like what's like a really bad offer, what's a decent offer and whatnot. So I do want to dive into that. So starting with the silver as we usually do. The total amount of silver hit we have here is going to be 1.85 million silver. So for each million silver, I like to give it a value of $1.20. So we're going to do is 1.85 times the 1.2, and that's going to give us $2.22. And now we have the 100 mortal soul stones and the 21 immortal soul stones remaining. For the 100 mortal soul stones, based off of the market average value, they typically go for about $1.25 per. And I know like these pricings are going to be, I mean, soul stones in general, I think they're overpriced. They are, but they're going to be more of a luxury, right? Than something that an early game or mid game player can really capitalize on. So there's going to be more for the people that are end game and really late game or whatever. And they just have nothing. I don't know, they, perhaps they're whales or krakens or whatever, and they just have nothing they really want to spend their money on, right? So this is going to be kind of that, that gateway for them to spend more again or whatever. That's kind of how it is. But it is a luxury if anything. So again, 100 mortal soul stones at a value of $1.25, that's going to come out to $125. Now, after you subtract the $127.22 from the total that we have here, which is $234.96, that's going to give us a remaining of $107.74 for 21 immortal soul stones. When it comes to immortal soul stones, I really, really hate the immortal soul stones because I call it the scam stones and I even made a, I guess like a, an emoji or like a picture for it with like scam across this actual stone. And I really, really hate it because I, for me personally, immortal soul stones haven't been so kind to me. And it's just like, it's so expensive and the rates are not even that great to pulling like legendaries, I'd say. So for the price you pay for it versus you can get a ton of mortal soul stones and the rate of getting legendaries at from the pricing of that like compared to that is i think it's a little bit better so that's kind of why i think immortal soul stones are scams but you're going to get to a point i guess like if you're really end game that you'll benefit more off of the immortal soul stones because of the essence you're able to get and the coins you're able to get from the eternal coins and whatnot and you'll be able to use that towards your uh the five and six stars that you can later put purchase right so going back to the pricing and breakdown we have 107 dollars and 74 cents for the 21 immortal soul stones remaining and that's going to be an average ratio of $5.13 per Immortal Soul Stone. Now, for Immortal Soul Stone, that is going to be a really, really good deal. So, from the past pack offers we've seen, and based off of like the amount of times we've seen it, Immortal Soul Stones, they typically average at about $7.50, maybe a little bit more than that, even up to $8 really. But at $5.13, this is definitely one of the best pack offers as far as uh, the total package of Immortal and Immortal Soul Stones. Now, I have seen another pack offer, I believe, with Immortal Soul Stones averaging about five, around here too, I think, about $5.30, I believe. I Yeah, it's around there, but this is definitely one of the best pack offers for Soul Stones that we've seen so far. And yeah, again, typically so Spring Packs offers are going to be a better pack offer than most other, like, you know, quantity of three four or nine or whatever the crazy thing we saw before you know it's going to be better value than that that's usually how it goes and yeah this is definitely an above average pack offer based off of the average market value i would have to say this is a good solid one of the best pack offers we've seen for soul stones once again 
Now, am I telling you you should go out right and buy this? No, I would never condone spending. I'm simply putting this out as just an informative thing. So I hope you guys do understand that. At the end of the day, there are going to be people that buy it no matter what. And I'm pretty much just, you know, there, people are always interested in knowing anyway. It's just, just like to, an informative thing to put it out there. Please don't ever think that I'm telling you to buy something because I'm telling you it's a good deal, okay? I'm just telling you what it is based off of what I see. So I hope you understand that. So that's pretty much the breakdown, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative one way or another. And if you do enjoy my content, if you want to see any more of my pack offer breakdowns, make sure to head over to my Discord channel where I do daily pack offer breakdowns. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel here if you are ever curious about any future pack offers that might come out that I might post, or if you just want to continue watching my content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And if you guys do enjoy my content in general, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.